Good afternoon everyone, this is Chrissy and welcome to my craft room. I had a request from Wynette asking um, how I had done my waxed, beeswaxed um, images that I shared in a recent video. So Wynette, um, I'm going to try and um, show you. I know there's been other people probably many other videos about this but um, this is how I do it um, I have these little beeswax palettes and um, I bought them here in Australia from this company if you're in Australia and I have a big bag of them and they smell beautiful too <laughs> so um, I'll just pop a couple of images down here. I've printed these out so we can try them and see how we go. Um, I've got some grease proof um, brown baking or oh, baking paper this is down here because I don't want the grease to go through onto my ironing mat and I also like to put it over top when I'm doing it so as not to uh, ruin my iron. So what I do is sprinkle some wax on, some of these little pellets on, and um, I'm going to put my sheet of baking paper over and just iron them. You can sort of see it melting through in this one. And let's have a look at those. There could be places that we'll need to. Yes. There's places that we need to, um, you know, put a little bit more wax. It does smell beautiful. Let's have another go. You want to be sure to get it over the whole um, image, and you you can tell when you're even when you're doing it over the um, baking paper, you can tell that you, whether you've got it covered or not. So there we are. That uh, that will need to dry. And that one. Let's have another go. I wondered how that blue um, image would go. And we'll try these ones. I thought I had my camera switched on when I did these other ones, but I didn't so I was busy talking away to you and filming and well I wasn't filming because it wasn't switched on but here are some others I've done you can see um, that there the wax makes them quite sort of um, transparent I hope um, that one there it's all covered but the paper was coffee dyed and so that's um, just the way the paper was that one is really pretty 
I'll hold it up, see if you can see how transparent it is. And these were the, that one possibly needs a little bit more there. I might pop that back under again, give that a little extra piece of wax there. But that's all there is to it. Here are the images once they've been waxed. They do have a nice feel to them. And um, a, a certain transparency to them. And uh, what I have done is, with uh, some of my images that I've done, is put them through an embossing folder. Maybe I should show you that. I will. Just give me a moment and I'll bring my um, big shot out and we'll put one through an embossing folder. It's mid-afternoon here and the shadows are forming in my craft room but I think you'll be able to see and get the idea of um, that this is another step that you can take it if you wish to. Just pop it through there. That's rather cute. I hope that's helpful, Wynette, and uh, thank you very much for joining me in my craft room today. I've enjoyed having you here. Bye.